job. It has certainly been hot and humid this yeah. past weekend. I got a chance to go to the beach and went in the water, and that water felt like bath water. Almost. Yeah, that's <laughs> where it gets. You know, a couple months ago, a month ago, it was nice. Water mm -hmm. temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s. Now it's in the upper 80s. Yep. And doesn't provide much <laughs> relief, uh, but we are looking at uh, very warm conditions tonight. Despite the fact we had a few showers around that cooled us off, the water temperature is warm, and that means uh, summer is uh, right around the corner. In fact, it starts Thursday officially. Uh, I had a chance to talk to the CERT program of Lakewood Ranch, an excellent program out there tonight. Over 100 people on attendance at the town center there in Lakewood Ranch. Re beautiful crowd, and these are all the folks that were with the CERT. Now, CERT is the Citizens Emergency Response Team that comes in after a hurricane. They're kind of like the first responders. Uh, they are familiar with CPR and also triage, so to speak. So it's a great program. A lot of communities now starting that up and uh, hopefully it, it is a huge success. It doesn't need to be used much this season. Uh, Casey Key webcam showing a few showers that uh, moved offshore and dissipating right now. A uh, big story right now weather is the heavy rainfall that's expected from Mexico. South Texas, all the way up into Louisiana. There's a little disturbed area of uh, a tropical moisture there, and it continues to move onshore. You can see it spinning right there. There's not much of a chance of it developing into anything too significant as far as a tropical storm goes, but it will be slow moving, and that means they could see up to a foot of rainfall before it's all said and done over the next three to four days into West Texas. Different story for us here. As that stays out west, we're going to see a dry air settle in, it looks like, on Tuesday, and that'll stick around for a while. You see that wrap around in a counterclockwise swirl, bringing that rainfall into Corpus Christi and places to the north thereof. There are the showers breaking down now out into the Gulf of Mexico. You may still see some flash of lightning off in the distance there, but had some rain in Bradenton uh, near Anamaria Island, also near Bayshore Gardens. As I mentioned, all this is going to come to an end out there in the Gulf. We'll start off with sunshine tomorrow. Will be another warm day. We'll have highs into the uh, upper 80s to low 90s, but the heat index will be indeed near 100. Not quite as hot as uh, today, but still there. A few showers expected. Now, even though the dry air will be in place, there's always one or two showers that'll pop up in that kind of situation, which will bring a few isolated showers. And the rain chance very small, though, 20% Tuesday, Wednesday, and even into Thursday as a result of high pressure at the surface and that dry air aloft. That will kind of inhibit our normal afternoon thunderstorm pattern here across the state for that matter. You can see just a little bit of shower activity. Here we are on Wednesday. Uh, normally that's lit up during this time of year, but not the case uh, as a result of that drier air that will be in place. Temperatures currently warm across west central Florida and into north Florida. 81 now in Tallahassee and temperatures all into the low 80s with the exception of Highlands Park or Highlands um, a county now at Avon Park 79. Look at the water temperature. Jacqueline talked about it 87 degrees. That is getting up there. Current conditions 82 and the dew point way up there 75. The barometer 30.06 inches and the high today 93 degrees. 89 is our average 93 uh, well above average and the record 100 though not close to that. Tomorrow's forecast then we'll start off sunshine. A few clouds and not much rain in the afternoon. Highs will be into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Nationally, the big story, obviously, the heavy rainfall down in Texas and storms from Iowa through Wisconsin all the way through parts of Michigan tonight. And highs tomorrow, another hot day in St. Louis, 93. Cleveland a bit cooler, though, 79. For boaters, not much of a wind out there. It looks like a sea is running really less than two feet. Smooth conditions on the bays and inland waters. The forecast looks like this, 20% chance only on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We bounce it back up, but just the 40% chance for scattered storms Friday, Saturday, a little bit better on Sunday. High temperatures staying slightly above seasonal averages. And remember, summer is uh, just around the corner. 6.07 a.m. It officially arrives on Thursday. Jacqueline? All right. Thank you, Bob. Almost here.